today we'll be seeing that how does starship gonna land vertically so now let's get started so basically if you see starship starship doesn't use us any any uh, i mean uh, i uh, any parachute or something but it uses the thrust force for it to get in inside so now so basically if you see the starship gets over here which you can really see it so now uh, let us see with uh, my uh, space flight simulator and let's test it out let's get started so i'll just build a rocket and I'll give build new rocket to get understand. So now basically, so now let me choose a twelve wide engine. Use it to make it. So now, sorry. So now. I'll just make it one by one and uh, one more for its lift off. Its weight is uh, 720 tons. That's too huge, but let's see. So I'll go back to engine and I just took this Titan engine. Its thrust is. 12 ton pair so now let us see how much should i take so i'll just keep it over here and one on one engines And now with the sham shake it gets on and get the launch. Okay, I didn't keep any of a control thing. So I need to go back to six wide and and now go back to basic and Keep one engine and keep my rocket over here. So now this is a world's biggest rocket. And as I the starship used, I'm not gonna use any of the parachutes over here. And so now So we have lift off but its velocity is really really slowly going. So let it go to space. Let me take around 5000 feet. So guys, now in the 5000 feet I will off the engines. Let the velocity decrease and let us see that. So at this time itself for the re-entry I'm gonna just tilt the engine. So now what will happen is the air molecules push it. And another one is gravity pusher. You can see that the speed is increasing as we go down, down. So this is what happens. Two force acts on the rocket. It compresses. So now uh, this is will really hurt happen. So now let me. Now it is 300 feet. Now what gonna starship is gonna do? Same thing I'm gonna do. 
it should go down but a little bit down so i'll just so guys i think i done a huge re-entry I hope it doesn't go more than 25,000 feet. So now it goes more than that. Maximally over 30 feet. I hope it won't come. So guys, as I said, the last time the velocity increases as it goes down, the speed increases. It's getting really, really high. So I just don't want to happen this. So I want to reduce it a little bit. Maximally around 300, I should release it. So it lands safely. So guys, you know, as I said, it has landed. But it should be more than stuff. 